In January this year, University of Queensland researchers assembled to announce they were working towards a coronavirus vaccine. We've got people working um, until all hours of the night. Everything doesn't work first time in science. Disappointingly, it didn't go to plan. A worst case scenario realised almost 12 months on. It's particularly tough on a, on a day not far in advance of when we were going to announce uh, what uh, great phase one data we had. There won't be any more phases. Researchers are abandoning the trial after some of the 216 Queensland participants returned a false positive for HIV. I think it's uh, disappointing. The HIV false positive reading is because researchers used a HIV protein in the molecular clamping technology used to develop the vaccine. That further analysis confirms that there is no HIV there and of course I'd emphasise that uh, the vaccine doesn't, um, is not an infectious part of the virus. The HIV false positive undermines public confidence. The federal government has opted to withdraw from its $1 billion commitment to the project. Without, without the tick there's no jab when it comes to uh, vaccines in this country. And certainly we didn't want to cause any undermining of confidence in uh, in the vaccine program as it stands. Global biotech company CSL was going to manufacture the homegrown vaccine. But all hope isn't lost and all the hours of research that the UQ scientists have put in aren't going to go to waste. The university is optimistic that its innovative molecular clamping technology used during this research will come in handy in other vaccine studies beyond COVID-19. Despite the fact that, you know, I think from the outside it looks, oh, there's a failure. This is nothing of the sort. This is the system working. The focus will now turn to rebuilding public confidence in a COVID-19 vaccine, more than likely to come from overseas. CSL will instead manufacture 20 million doses of the Oxford vaccine, while the Australian government will increase its purchase of the AstraZeneca vaccine by 20 million doses and the Novavax drug by 11 million doses. Anna Rawlings, Sky News.